morning, students. I'm your anchor, Odessa Tolentino. And I'm your co-anchor, Kyra Boscra, with your morning news live broadcast. Today is Monday, February 9th, day three. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day of life. We praise and thank you for keeping all of us safe this past weekend. As we start this Valentine's week, we ask you to fill our hearts with love, not just romantic or affectionate love, but love for our neighbors, our family, our friends, and even our enemies. You give us unconditional love, and it is only fitting that we should try our best to pass on that love which you give so freely. Keep our minds and our bodies healthy as we continue on our academic journeys and help us to always remember you with every step we take. In your name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Attention all juniors and seniors. Many of you haven't signed up for a retreat yet. You have until tomorrow to choose. Again, if you did not sign up for a retreat, please see Ms. Tawase ASAP. The Encounter Retreat is $90 and lasts for three days. It's really enjoyable and many of the seniors from last year said that Encounter was the highlight of their senior year. The Junior Senior Retreat is only one day. If you do not choose a retreat, you will be assigned to the one day retreat. Seniors, attending one of these retreats is mandatory for graduation. Juniors, you will need to attend a retreat before moving on to your senior year. Many things still need to be done and we cannot accomplish them until we have a final count. If there is a low turnout for the encounter retreat, it will be canceled. Be responsible. Sign up for a retreat tomorrow th by th before, sorry, 3.30 p.m. tomorrow. Prom is just around the corner and bids are on sale in room 113. It is a first come first serve basis, so be sure to buy your tickets before they run out. This year's bids are $85 per person, and we are going to be at the Ko'olau Ballroom. Contracts can be picked up in room 113 to receive bids and seating assignments. Don't miss out on an unforgettable night. Hope to see you there. The National Art Honor Society will be having a mandatory meeting tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Please see Ms. Massaro if you cannot attend. Congratulations to the middle school math count team. They finished 13th out of 28 teams. Team members consisted of Justin Loy, Denison Pio Salon, Ryan Pereira, Alana Alvarado, Jathan Cruz, Pedro De La Noy Kobayashi, Kelo Kolo, and Robbie Lau. Congratulations. Attention all ASL 1 through 5 students. We will have a guest speaker from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. This is really important and will be a wonderful experience for you. Please be there. Thank you. Hey guys, it's that time of year again. Student organization officers will be doing pre-order Valentine's Day grams outside of the ASC during D&E mod starting today. Sales will end on Wednesday, February 11th at 1.30 p.m. Valentine's grams will be distributed during homeroom on Friday, February 13th. All 5th through 12th grade students, please pay attention. St. Francis School believes regular school attendance is of utmost importance in a student's academic success and preparation for life. Opportunities for learning diminish considerably when a student is absent or tardy. Because of this, you may lose your free dress privileges if you have 10 or more absences for the second semester. You may also lose your free, free dress privileges if you have six or more tardies for the second semester. The free dress list will be updated weekly and posted to Edline. If you have any questions or concerns, please see your counselor. For the upcoming school year, if you will be in 9th through 12th grade, then you are eligible to be a part of the JROTC. 
What is JROTC? It stands for Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps, and their purpose is to educate students in leadership roles with making them aware of the benefits of citizenship. There will be an informational session coming up on February 17th. Senior, see your counselor to sign up for the visit. Seniors, how many of you have asked a teacher for a recommendation for a college, university, program, and or scholarship? How many, you, how many of you have thanked your teacher for all they do for you and for taking the extra time to write that recommendation? Make sure you let your teacher know how appreciative you are of their assistance they provide for you. And now we would like to show you another BuzzFeed video of the week. Here are some fascinating board game facts. <laughs> And that's your morning news. I'm your anchor, Odessa Tolentino. And I'm your co-anchor, Kyra Boscara, with your morning news live broadcast. Have a great day and a great week in the spirit of joy.